Okay, the very first interview I did uh, for Steam Power Peck Tech was with Emily P. Bush and William Kevin Petty. Now they wrote a terrific children's book called Her, Majest Her Majesty's Explorer, a steampunk bedtime story. And uh, it's a terrific book, uh, great for little kids that like to, you know, have a book read to them as they go to bed. Well, their new book, uh, Steam Duck Learns to Fly, is coming out October 10th. And uh, I've seen a little bit of it. It's a terrific, terrific uh, story again. And I think you'll like it, so be sure to check it out. So the next uh, interview I did was with Dim Horizon Studio, and I didn't see them at Dragon Con at all, oddly enough. So I, uh, I can tell you, I've seen tons and tons of work come through Facebook. Uh, they post all the time, and they do some really amazing stuff. It's a really, really cool uh, couple of people you should know. Hell, Blinky also was not at Dragon Con, which is a shame, but I did get to speak with Valerie for a little bit, and uh, that's actually a show in itself. She's got some other stuff going on, aside from uh, just being awesome with Hell Blinky. So, if you want to see Hell Blinky, they're on tour right now. They're touring all around the country. They're going to be, um, uh, well, go to their website and find find a location near you and go check them out. They're, oh, they're going to be on the Steampunk Cruise with, I think, uh, Unwoman, who's in another one of my videos, in Abney Park. Um, so, they've definitely got stuff going on. Go check them out. I was lucky to run into Frenchie and the Punk not once, but twice, because they played in Knoxville the very next weekend. They uh, played for a really different crowd than they did at Dragon Con. It was, uh, it was interesting at least. <laughs> I hope they had a good time and they'll come back soon. Uh, they did have some stuff to tell me about their new album and what's going on with them, so let's hear them now. Anyway. <laughs> and here I am again with uh, Frenchie and the Punk at Dragon Con 2012. And you guys played a terrific show last night. Uh, how did you feel about it? I feel great. It was so much fun. The crowd was awesome. And the energy was just great. We had a really good time. Yeah. And uh, you've just come back from a European tour. And tell me about that. You met a lot of new people. I saw a cool video that some people yes. put together. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We did it. We got lucky. And uh, some people in Mez, France uh, contacted us. And they wanted to do a video for Yes, I'm French. And, uh, and what better place to do a video for Yes, I'm French than in France. in France. So that was really cool. And the steampunk community came out for that. So there's a lot of extras in there. And uh, it's just a really fun video. The whole tour was great. We did France, and Marseille, Toulouse, Paris. Uh, we did England, all around England. We did some uh, steampunk events, fairy festivals. Lincoln. We did that Lincoln, Lincoln event, yeah. yeah, yeah. Asylum folks. Yeah, that was yeah. Really cool. It was great. Yeah. So tell me about the new album. Uh, what's what can you expect from this new uh, venture? Hey, hey, cabaret. Hey, hey, cabaret. Yes, that one. That one. Yeah. Yes, that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very upbeat, spirited. Um, it's uh, what can we say? It's yeah. eclectic, like what you you would think of us. You know, the French and the punk sound. There's the upbeat stuff, the mellow stuff. There. There's yes. hey, cabaret. Yes. Oh, we did a French tune on there called Lisha Noir yeah. about a black cat, right? Yeah. We have a birthday song in there that's really fun. Yeah. Birthday fanfare. Steampunk pixie because I'm a steampunk pixie on a cabaret stage, so we have that. That's really fun. So yeah, it's it's uh it's it's very uh, it, again it's eclectic, so it, it gives you all the different moods you know that you come to expect from French in the punk. I think if you like Happy Madness, you'll oh, love yeah. Hey Cabaret. It totally. seems like you know it's very driving and. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, we listen to it all the time, and uh, we think you two are, are terrific. Terrific Thank people. Thank you. We yeah. love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> and good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Forward. And we'll be back at uh, NACOCON in yes. February, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. We'll be there for that, Yay. for sure. <laughs> the Nashville based group, the Apparition Abolishers, appear in a, a couple of different segments of my videos, and uh, especially in the Steampunk Contraptions won. They won Best of Show at Dragon Con this year for a terrific device that they created and uh, Leo was more than happy to show it off all weekend. It's actually activated with our iPhone. He built an app that would activate the servos and the wings and make it expand 
uh, on command and retract. So it was amazing to see and uh, congratulations on your win. So guys, I loved running into a Dragon Con where the extraordinary contraptions and they were really tearing it up. They played a couple of different shows. They were in the Gadgeteer Showcase. They were in the parade. They were all over the place. So uh, hopefully you got to take a listen. And they were also uh, there to promote their new album. So uh, David was nice enough to speak to me for just a few minutes about the album, and here it is. Uh, this is David from the Extraordinary Contraptions. Hello. So tell me, you've got a new album coming out. Yes, we do. It is out this weekend here at Dragon Con. It's called The Time Traveler's Constant. We've been working on it very hard for the past several months. It's been about a year and a half in the making. We ran a successful Kickstarter campaign back at the end of last year, and we just got the discs at the beginning of this week, and we're super excited to be sharing it with everyone here at Dragon Con. Uh, tell me, uh, what's different about this album from maybe some of the other ones? We really dug a lot deeper into our story for this album. We also incorporated some outside influences. We put together a steampunk choir. We have some spoken word tracks on here where we did some sound effects work and also did some sort of crowd scene type work. It's a lot of fun. I think it's our most ambitious work to date. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you. Another great show at Dragon Con was This Way to the Egress. Uh, they were entertaining as always and uh, a lot of fun to talk to. So I got to talk to them just a little bit and here's what they had to say. I'm here with uh, This Way to the Egress. Mama and Papa Egress agreed to talk to me again. <laughs> uh, I wanted to know, uh, what do you guys, you guys have a new album coming out, is that right? Yes, yes, we're pushing to have it out uh, by early spring 2013. Uh, is there something different on this album? Did you guys do anything different this time? We have more of a crisp sound. The first album was kind of crazy and nuts, and not that it was bad or anything, but now we hunkered down and got more of a specific thing that we're going for, more of an egress. Sound. I think we've had a lot more experience being on the road and we have solid members now that everybody's brought their own parts like this album will have tuba the last one didn't we'll have um, banjo and um, some members that have really gotten on board so I think as a band as a whole we've learned we've got we've like really developed our sound and kind of crystallized what we have excellent thanks a lot for talking to me thank you uh, no the last interview I did for Steam Powered Peck Tech was Penny Dreadful Productions. They were there at Dragon Con to show the ending uh, to Remnant, which was fantastic. Obviously, Matt Silva was very excited to be done with this project and move on to other things. Uh, what those things will be, I don't know, but I really look forward to anything that they put out. I, I can't wait to see what's next. Do we want to be little piggies? Remnant, they're assembling. What do we want to be? The Butcher. That's all I have for today, folks. Uh, but stay tuned because I've got more Dragon Con footage, I've got more aquarium videos, and I've got more bands uh, to show you before the end of the year. And uh, I hope you'll stick around and check it out. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.